1.8 million Texans have filed for unemployment benefits since the coronavirus pandemic started in mid-March. There are some big changes, though, coming in the next few days that folks need to know about. Yeah, one week from this Saturday, the amount of money that many Texans on unemployment get is going to go way down. That's because that federal pandemic unemployment compensation ends on July 25th. On average, Texans collecting unemployment get about $349 from the state each week. Since April, the CARES Act stacked an extra $600 on top of that, meaning those eligible are collecting more than $2,700 a month. For some, it's more than they made working full-time before the pandemic. Come July 25th, benefits drop back down to $349 a week or almost $1,400 a month. Normally, Texas cuts recipients off after 26 weeks. But new protections because of the coronavirus mean some people will collect unemployment up to 59 weeks. That's more than a year from now. You should know if your employer calls you back to work and you refuse, you may lose your benefits. There are some specific protections for at-risk employees 65 or older or employees caring for children or at-risk family members. But if you don't fall into one of those categories, you will likely lose your unemployment benefits. Online, the Texas Workforce Commission is asking employers to report employees who have refused to return to work. So a spokesperson for the Texas Workforce Commission says there are more than 620,000 jobs listed online right now at workintexas.com. And there are some virtual job fairs hosted by Texas Workforce Solutions all the time. Tomorrow, they're going to be having one for young people looking for their very first job. Next week is a virtual job fair for public health positions. On clicktohouston.com, we're going to be linking you to all that information and how you can join those virtual job fairs.